Hello, everybody out there. This is Joe Parsons from Pinnacle Capital Mortgage. Hey, folks. And I'm Grant Inaba from Good Real Estate Team at Climb Real Estate. We uh, want to start the segment off by talking about San Francisco rents. Do we have to? Crazy. Yes, we do. I mean, uh, okay. we don't have to. We live in the East Bay, but San Too Francisco bad. residents, you know, uh, I'm sure you guys want to know what's going on out there. You guys are already over there, and you guys are already live in it. So you tell us about it. We'll tell you about what we think about it, and you can let us know if we're right. So, average rent price in San Francisco is about four thousand a month. Would you say? That's what I'm hearing. I've seen some that are quite a bit, uh, quite a bit higher. I've got some friends of mine uh, from my from my university that are advertising sublets at forty five hundred and five thousand a month. Wow, a sublet, a mm -hmm. garage underneath someone's house. It's nuts. Yeah, it's I don't nuts. want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your alternatives? I mean, if you uh, can't keep on paying that 4500 a month, 4000 a month in San Francisco, and you want to get out of that garage or anything your uh, brother-in-law's house, then what do you do? Well, we're seeing a kind of a migration from away from the really expensive areas like San Francisco proper, even from Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. where there's a tremendous amount of income down there. Uh, the starting salaries are for, for people with uh, places like Google and, and Facebook are very, very mm -hmm. high. So young people have got a whole lot of money, so they're buying close to work and they're pushing the prices up. Same thing is happening in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing a lot of people that are saying, I want to, want to be close to work. I want to have the lifestyle where I'm, where I'm not spending all my life in the car, yeah. but I also don't want to spend $1.6 million for a typical San Francisco house, because that is the median price in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. But I also don't want to pay $4,000, $5,000 a month rent for a little tiny apartment. So yeah. they're, they're looking to areas especially in the East Bay, which is in, enjoying a kind of a resurgence. Mm -hmm. uh, they're looking into East County, such as uh, Antioch and uh, Pittsburgh, Bay Point, even Pacheco, where prices are still considerably more reasonable. And, uh, and they're looking at putting that money that they're paying toward rent to make their landlord rich mm -hmm. or richer mm -hmm. and to put that into something that's, uh, that benefits them directly. Yeah. And I think you said something about uh, earlier about that the light rail just opened up that helps to connect the East County with BART. So the commute for a lot of these people moving out into the areas where they still can afford to buy a nice house with a, a nice floor plan and plenty of square footage and yeah. a yard and all the kind of stuff that yeah. you, you can't afford in San Francisco, mm -hmm. uh, the commute is becoming a lot more manageable. Yeah, yeah. And that actually just happened today. Today is the 25th, is that right? Today's 25th, yeah. Today's the 25th. At 11 o'clock today, they had a big old ribbon cutting at the Pittsburgh Bay Point BART station in order to celebrate the opening of the light rail that's going, extending to Brentwood. And I hear the gossip is that light rail line is supposed to go all the way down south to Tracy and then connecting with the end of the Livermore line eventually someday. So hopefully we're going to have all the East Bay and extended East Bay connected so people can get into San Francisco, do the work they need to do, and you know have fun in the weekends as well if they can't find anything fun to do in their own areas. So yeah. it, it really is a game changer. Yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to make things a whole lot more um, convenient for everybody, and I think also it's going to make real estate a little bit more affordable for everybody too. What do you think? Well, I think so because there is there is such a high cost to uh, to owning a home or renting for that matter mm -hmm. in San Francisco, in yeah. Cupertino, in Santa Clara, even Fremont and Newark, the prices are really getting up there. Yeah. So where there are these areas that like like Pittsburgh and Antioch, there's some very, very nice neighborhoods there mm -hmm. that are still at a reasonable price that people can afford. And what a lot of people need to realize is that the difference between renting and buying, uh, even though they may conceivably make a higher payment, much of that monthly payment is going to their own savings, which is paying down their mortgage, because a yep. big part of that of that monthly payment is going to reduce the principal. Mm -hmm. and the second thing is when you, anybody who's lived in San Francisco or near Silicon Valley for any length of time, they've seen their rents go up dramatically, and that's yep. just a function of the market, the, the very, very high demand yep. for rental housing, and landlords can pretty much charge whatever they want, because the market is, is uh, will bear almost anything. Mm -hmm. So. When you're renting, you've got two different things that are that you're dealing with. One is that your rents are going to go up. Maybe not every single year, but the rents will go up. They always do. Yeah. And the second thing is you have the insecurity 
of not knowing how long you're going to be there because the owner of the property has the right to sell any time they want. They may say, you know, I've made $500,000 on this house. I think I'm going to take my profits. I'm going to cash it in or I'm going to trade it into a bigger property or something like that. And yep. then you're typically out on the street. That does not happen when you own your own property. So that's, yeah. a, that's security, especially for a whole family, is not a trivial thing to think about. Definitely, yeah. Being able to understand and keep that monthly expense for living at a certain number and know it's going to be there is important. And also knowing that you're going to have a house over your head is also important, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. What's worse than moving, right? Oh, my gosh. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> you run out of friends after a while, right? Oh, man. I'm moving company all the way from now on. I am spoiling myself. Uh, Say, so Grant, I was thinking about moving uh, to a new house <laughs> next week. Uh, are you doing anything next weekend? Uh, pizza and beer. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring pizza and beer if, you, uh, <laughs> if you'll help me with the refrigerator and the washing machine. <laughs> okay. I'll bring my big, strong arms. <laughs> All right, well, um, you know, we've got a lot we can talk about rents, but I think we'll cut it off from there, give you a little bit of the basics. And uh, if you have anything you want to talk about, any questions you have for us, certainly let us know. We're always around, and we'd love to be able to answer more questions from you. So next time around, we'll do that. See you later. Grant, good talking to you as always. Uh Uh-huh, Joe Parsons, Pinnacle Capital Mortgage. Grant Inaba, Climb Real Estate. Uh Uh-huh, see you later. See you around.